And the Molding Plex Steering Committee recommends City Council, and I shall move that Mr. Brian Queering of MQN Architects of Chilliwack be invited to Moose Jaw to develop a preliminary conceptual design based on the Prospera Center with a spectator-oriented arena and an eight-sheet curling rink at a cost of up to $4,999, and that the funding source for the associated cost be the Major Projects Fund, MP3 Multiplex, and further that City Council approve a transfer of funding and the Major Projects Fund, MP3 Multiplex, from 2008 to 2007 to cover these costs. <coughs> Thank you, Your Worship. Seconder. Thank you, Councillor Sagal Henry. Uh, I think, Mr. Chairman, uh, in, in speaking to that motion, uh, would be willing to assist the committee on uh, what uh, they indicated to us was a pro bono basis. Uh, with the, uh, if we were to pay his uh, travel cost, uh, his expenses, and some minimal uh, costs with respect to a, a draftsman that he may have to uh, engage, as Mr. Queering was the uh, architect who. Uh, designed uh, the Prosper Center uh, originally. Uh, the committee felt that uh, it would be uh, in order for us to accept his offer so that uh, he could go ahead and tweak his original design and bring that back to the committee. Uh, and the $4,999 is the, uh, the amount that uh, the committee is uh, prepared to pay for his travel and associated costs. Well, I'm wondering why we need a preliminary conceptual design because we've got several, all paid for by the city of Moose already. Like here's the one that's been sent to Ottawa and Regina, and here's the conceptual design right here. Though it's different, it has a couple of soccer fields attached to it, and this new motion doesn't have any soccer fields. But there is a conceptual design that has already been approved by this council, sent to Ottawa, sent to Regina. If you're not happy with that one, you can always go back to the one we paid 25000 for, the new Stadia one. So I'm asking myself, why do we need another preliminary conceptual design? We are going to build this rink they have in Chilliwack here, and it's going to be designed by those people and probably built by those people. He agreed he would come out here and do a preliminary design, and Mr. Hoda said he'd quoted some five to $6,000. And Mr. Hoda very correctly pointed out to the committee that at $5,000, the city's tendering policy comes into effect. So I guess they thought it rather cute, the committee, after hearing that this architect would cost five dollars to $6,000, flippantly, I would suggest, made the motion that we pay him $4,999. Why? To avoid the city's tendering policy. As I've said, the only reason this thing moves forward is we avoid using all the rules that are there to protect the public and the taxpayer. And you're right, preliminary conceptual designs don't come cheaply, Mr. Mayor. So how are we going to get a guy to fly out from Vancouver, stay here in town, and pay him $4,999? And I would ask uh, Mr. Hoda, it was brought up at the meeting that because this fellow is from BC and licensed in BC, he may have to contract with a Saskatchewan architect so that he can have some uh, residence here in Saskatchewan. Was that figured into the $4,999, do you know? I'm not sure, actually. He did mention a, a preliminary budget. He didn't specify as to whether that was included or not. Oh, well, that would be very important because $1 more than this <laughs> and the city's tendering policy has been violated. You just, thanks to Councillor Swanson, you can't argue with the facts that he's laid out on the table. When I read this report over the weekend and I looked at the number of $49.99, I went, geez, that's an odd number. Then his worship gets up and says it's to travel the guy here. It's not even for the plans, it's just to bring the guy here. Then my flag went up and I went, well, why in the world that we're in, in technology, it's 2007, why do we need to fly somebody here to do plans for this place? Can't he do it in Vernon and just email us the plans? Number one is it's gonna be downtown. And number two, we're going to spend all the money at, no, at whatever the cost is to have it downtown. And it is going to be a 62 to $75 million project. And we have all these other responsibilities on the table that the city of Musha has to look after. And that's what the taxpayers need to know, because something is definitely going on here. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to vote in favor of this either. And Councillor Swanson's right. We've got conceptual plans. The problem isn't that we don't have a conceptual design. We got tons of conceptual designs. Uh, there's a letter here the city manager sent 
February 8, 2006, to uh, Mr. Ray Bow and Multiplex Committee, states the immediate task, that being some 21 <coughs> months ago, uh, the immediate task for the Multiplex Group is to secure the remaining 24.7 million required in addition to the city's commitment. The problem isn't no conceptual plans. We've got lots of conceptual plan pictures. What we don't have is any fundraising. And to be quite honest, I don't believe for a moment there's any intention to do that. We're flying in a guy from Vernon to get another preliminary conceptual design. Because time is of the es essence we keep hearing. Well, at some point, the time has to be to start fundraising to demonstrate support in the community for this project. As far as the, um, the issue of the $4,999, I made that re recommendation to the mover of the motion that it be $4,999 as opposed to $5,000. And you're quite right. It was because if we went with $5,000, there would be a requirement to tender the project. We did not feel that it was necessary, nor did we feel we had the time to tender it at this point in time. If Mr. Query is not able to come out at that price, which incidentally, again, given your attendance at the meeting, you will be well aware of the fact that $49.99 was his expenses. Isn't if Mr. Query is not in a position to come out for $49.99, I have no doubt that he'll advise us of that, given the fact that he had suggested between five dollars and $6,000. That's the reason the number is $49.99 as opposed to $5,000. If you have an issue with it, take it up with me. There are processes in place to protect the public and taxpayers. It's not for a small group of unelected people to decide, well, there's this architect in Vernon I think would do a good job for us because he's designed the one we want. I've been through a few of these processes in building facilities, and this one is completely off scratch. It's, it's a small group of people know what they want, and they're going to push it as hard as they can. Uh, Mr. Quirin volunteered to do a conceptual design for us, as I indicated in initially, a pro bono figure that we have of $4,999. Uh, as uh, Councillor Chow indicated, hopefully will provide us with enough funds to, to allow him to uh, recoup his expenses in that. Obviously, uh, in the back of his mind, he, he would hope to uh, receive the uh, job at the, at the end, I guess, the tender for the, for the multiplex. But uh, again, uh, that's part of the council tendering process that will happen at that time. Request for a recorded vote. <clears throat> All in favor of the motion? Councillor Finley, Councillor Chow, Mayor McBain, Councillor Sagal Henry opposed. Councillor Looning, Councillor Swanson. Motion passes.